In this episode, we're going to talk about encountering bed bugs in an Airbnb and what can you do about the situation. everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host Jeff White and in today's episode we're going to talk about Airbnbs and bedbugs. Um, obviously as Airbnb becomes more and more popular you know occasionally people are going to encounter bedbugs in Airbnbs. It's inevitable. Um, and so what do you do? How do you handle it? You know and, and the parallel to this is vacation homes. You know back when I was a kid in the 80s you know my, my parents and I used to go on vacation you know at different whatever shore locations and we used to rent homes for the week and I do it with my family now. Um, and, and so this, this risk in terms of rental properties, you know, even before Airbnb existed, you know, was there. And, and how do you handle that topic? And, you know, it's, it's, it's very different than a hotel because obviously you stay in a hotel, you encounter bed bugs. They hopefully can just switch you to another room. In an Airbnb or a vacation rental, you know, you're in a home, you're in a house. And so how do you handle that? It's a much different situation. And so the bottom line with this is it's going to have to go back to the rental, you know, property, the rental agency, the rental host, whatever term you want to use. Um, so let's say you check into an Airbnb. You unfortunately find evidence of bed bugs in that Airbnb. Your first, you know, you know, action should be to contact the host. Uh, hopefully the host, and in my experience, most of the hosts are very responsive, you know, is going to respond very well to this and, you know, quickly get somebody out there to confirm the problem, the pest control company, whatever the case may be. And it's very clear on the Airbnb website. If you go into the policy section, it talks about health hazards being a reason for a refund of any type of money you spent on that Airbnb. I can't imagine that bed bugs wouldn't fall into a health hazard category. And so, Confirmed evidence in an Airbnb of bed bugs. The host should be refunding your money. Hopefully they handle it properly thereafter. And if they for some reason won't respond or are giving you a hard time, then you'd want to you know, reach out to Airbnb as a whole. And, and anytime you have a situation like this, I can't recommend enough to document the evidence. Take pictures with your cell phone, you know, whatever the case may be. That way, if the host does try to play hardball with you, you do have evidence to show that this did happen. Um, and so that's pretty cut and dry, you know, confirm problem, you're going to, you know, the policies, you know, s states very clearly, and you're going to handle it first to the host, in my opinion, and then Airbnb. Now, the issue comes in when you think there might be bed bugs and you can't confirm the problem. And so anytime you think there might be a bed bug situation going on because you woke up with bites, you found a bug, whatever the case may be, again, you're still going to try to go through the host first. Hopefully, whoever it is gets somebody out there quickly to do an inspection. But let's say they can't confirm the bed bug situation. How do you handle that? And so that's a very tough topic, actually. I don't have any really great answers for this one. You know, if you have a couple bites, you got to remember that I'm not saying it is, but I'm also not saying it isn't bed bugs. You know, but you have to understand that that bites are not a really surefire way to identify a bed bug infestation. Anything can look like bed bug bites. You know, you could be allergic in some way, shape, or form to the detergent the host used to clean the sheets. There could be a broken screen where a mosquito got in. You know, there's a million different ways. You know, you could have experienced bed bugs or some sort of bites in another location but didn't react until you got to the Airbnb. And so you associate the bites with the Airbnb situation and it actually happened well before you ever got there. And so there's a million things that could happen. But I'm also not saying it's not bed bugs, you know. If a small bed bug infestation can be very difficult to detect, even for trained professionals that come in and do an inspection. And so as far as how you handle that one, unfortunately, it's going to be a personal decision. You know, the bottom line is, is when I've had experiences like that, so I stayed at a hotel in Ohio, I think it was about two or three months ago. And there were a couple different reasons why I was fairly sure that there were bed bugs in the hotel room I was staying in, but I could not confirm the problem. I, I looked everywhere and, and I just couldn't find it. And so what I did is when I returned home, I took extra precautions to make sure I didn't introduce the problem back to my house. And so I laundered all my clothes when I returned home. I inspected my suitcase very thoroughly. I isolated the suitcases out in the garage in a, in a garbage bag, you know, and then there's other precautions that you can take in regards to how to handle that suitcase moving forward. And so I took extra precaution when I returned home. But, you know, as far as getting a refund for a couple bites that you aren't even sure where they came from, you think they're bed bugs, but you're not sure, whatever the case may be, 
that's a tricky topic. You know, if I'm a host and I'm in that situation, I'm going to push a little on that one. I'm going to say, hey, listen, you know, I understand you experienced bites. I'm really sorry for that, but we can't confirm bed bugs and they could have come from anywhere. Now, if you wake up with tons of bites, that's a totally different topic. You know, if you have tons of bites or a, a, a extensive reaction, if it's caused by bed bugs, they should be easy to find. If you have lots of bites, it's the two bites, three bites, four bites, that's where it becomes complicated. And so that's kind of Airbnbs and bed bugs. You know, confirmed, react, confirmed bed bugs, pretty cut and dry. Refund, hopefully through the host, then of course Airbnb. It's the if I have bites and I don't know what it is, what do I do? And there's no really easy answer for that one. So if you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And to be honest, the best course of action here, if you do have questions, maybe first to contact or go on the Airbnb site and, and kind of read about it. Um, you could always, you know, send a, a host an email in regards to if you're staying in one, you know, ask questions about the topic and how they would handle it. Um, if you're really that concerned about it, those are really the right courses of action. But honestly, anything, you know, I'm always willing to answer any questions anybody might have. So uh, that's basically Airbnb and bedbugs. And I hope to see everybody soon enough.